it's not that I want to go green, it's just I don't want it having horrible, horrible effects in the future about me doing this. I am clearing a lot of space for this thing. Of course, it's a factory. It's going to require a lot of space. If you think that a factory can be compact into, like, a tiny little area, oh, you're so wrong. Now, of course, there's always the big question of why would I want to build this massive but beautiful thing known as a factory? Well, kids, that's simple. I have an idea. I decide to put that idea to a test. When I put that idea to a test, I realize there is a real demand for said idea. Then, from there, the idea becomes more than just an idea, it becomes a reality. When it becomes a reality, it needs to be explored. And once it's been thoroughly explored, a lot of people have a tendency to exploit it. And once they start exploiting it, they can't stop exploiting it because it's so addicting, it's so much fun to some. And then they try to get other people into it, and once they get other people into it, those people get more people into it, and it's just a vicious cycle of supply and demand. The more people supply, the more people demand, and the more people need to supply in order to keep going. And then when you are no longer able to supply it, you require more items in order to be able to do such things, and it really is just a very, very big circle of destruction. For example, the paper industry. Paper comes from trees. It could be coming from hemp, but it's coming from trees. Trees produce oxygen. Oxygen is what we need to, su to survive. Well, if you cut down a lot of trees, there's a lot of oxygen that's no longer being made. And therefore, we eventually will die of asphyxiation. Wonderful thought for me to plug into your little minds, isn't it? <laughs> Death because people cut down too many trees. Instead of using something that can be easily grown in quick and massive amounts of supply. Now, of course, there are some things that are changing it slowly and possibly surely. Can't make any guarantees. Uh, let's see, anything new requires red? Hello, oil processing. Nothing new that needs red, just old stuff. I can make 64. And I need to cut it down by 14, which means it requires, I believe, two? Yes. Per science pack one, which suspiciously looks like a potion, I need two. Two and therefore, in order to cut it out, I need to give away. Uh, 20, 28. Keep a hundred. Throw in twenty-eight. Make fifty science packs because I am going to finally get. Bullet damage research. 
And as that researches, I'm going to start reorganizing things. I guess. Well. Uh, I can't. Oh, wait. That's what I wanted to do. I need steel, which requires iron. Of course. As I said, the vicious supply of supply and. Uh, vicious cycle of supply and demand. Because I only have one. Enough for one. Now I have enough for three! Give me three. Oh, shoot. Well, this is going to be a while. Oh, good. Okay. You need... Okay. Ah, bullet damage bonus of 10% instead of... Oh, no, 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 never mind. It adds 10% bonus damage to every shot. Amazing! So that means if it does 10 for the base, that means it does 11! Now that I've re well, once I've finished researching bullet damage 1. And of course, when that happens, guess what, kids? I shall be killing things so quickly. I just really wish I thought before I actually clicked that. Uh, go ahead and get this started because otherwise we are going to be sitting here forever and ever and ever. In the meantime, I am going to slowly, slowly chop down trees. Expected resources. Too bad there is no way of quick deforestation. No, instead I have to do that. But honestly, where else am I going to get my exercise besides running around? Oh, run around like a chicken with its head cut off. Ooh, hey, I need to go check on the uh, stone. So let me drop off some more po uh, some more research pots. Let me go over here. And how much have you gotten? That's a lot. Okay. Um... I'll just do that. And then shove it into the furnace over here. Oh, that's right. I was in the middle of doing this whole thing. Okay, well. Let's start getting this going. And I need a uh, storage size 48. I'm going to need that. We throw more of these in. Uh, how long is this going to... 30 minutes? Oh, one unit. Okay, 30 seconds per unit. So that means 150 seconds. And each potion is made in 5.5 seconds. So I'm going to finish making the potions before it's finished researching half of it. Uh, 30 seconds per potion. There are 150, or not 150, there are 50 potions to make, well, to get through, so that means, um, 30 seconds per, so 1,500 seconds, which translates into, let's see, do, 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 uh, 60 goes into 150 twice, 300 five times, so 25 minutes. Holy crap, that's a long time. Okay, well it's a good thing that I'm going to be mining a lot. And clearing up a lot of space so this way I can start reassembling things in a better location. 
Locales are everything. I wonder, is there any way that I can actually upgrade the uh, boilers? Because honestly, having to... Well, actually no, because honestly, boilers will always require coal, because supplying them with electricity in order to run them doesn't make any a lick of sense at all. Let's face it. Now, if there were, say, a boiler that ran on, oh, I don't know, oil? Or some chemicals? That would be helpful. But I'm not sure those exist. Oh, hey, I've got my stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and toss the rest of these in here. I've got... Oh, good, I've got my steel chest. I'm going to stick the steel chest there. Open... Um, control, click, there we go! That's a lot of wood. That's what she said. Last night. In bed. With your mother. What did you say? <laughs> that was such a horrible... Horrible. Horrible attempt at Smeagol. But I tried! And yes, I am clearing out a massive, massive area. And I may not even need all of this, but I'm going to clear it off anyways because... just in case. Or, better yet, just because... Now, if I'm understanding the circuitry bits correctly, I might actually be able to literally link from long distance a semi-teleport system, a some, for some form of teleport system, that will allow me access to all the materials I need by calling them through my, wire, my wired network. As long as the colors are the same color. Remember our company creators do only the best rangers in the land of Minecraft via and beyond, so for the love of all that is wonky, do not shoot your friend in the eye or the back of the head. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Too narrow to slip through. Ooh, hey! Made it through. Yay, it's crystal clear.